To balance this equation, NaHCO3 plus BaCl2, let's count the atoms up. We have one sodium atom, and then I have this HCO3 here. This is called the bicarbonate ion. We have it here, and then we have it here again. So since it stays together, I'm going to count it as one thing. And this is a technique you can use for these double displacement reactions. It'll make it a lot easier. So I have one HCO3 here, I have one Ba, and two Cl's. On the product side, I have one sodium, I have two of these HCO3s, I have one Ba and one Cl. So let's start by balancing our chlorine atoms. We have one here and two here, so a coefficient of two, one times two. So the chlorine atoms, those are balanced. One sodium times the two. Now we have two sodiums. So we can balance the sodiums next. If we put a two here, we have one times two. Those are balanced. This two applies to everything. So we have two times our HCO3. That gives us two, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So when we count these polyatomic ions as one item, it ends up making the balancing a lot easier and less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaHCO3 plus BaCl2. Thanks for watching.